Good morning or afternoon. This is Maine Roses and I'm going to make shrimp scampi. I've already got my burner on. I got actually both of them on. And I threw on a jacket because I'm lounging around today. Trying to list eBay auctions and get some stuff done. So, I got my pan on medium to high temp. I'm going to add a whole stick of butter and I'm going to scrape off the remainder of that. My husband already chopped up some peppers. We've got an orange and we've got a red and we didn't chop them, we sliced them. So I'm going to add that right to my pot. And my shrimp are fro frozen, so I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in a colander and I'm going to run some water over them. And I'm going to get my garlic chopped up here. These are 1620 raw shrimp. They're the best yet. So they're real cheap. Well, they're not real cheap. They're eight dollars a package. But I'm going to rinse cold water over them to start to defrost while I do my my lemon and my garlic. Now crank that down to medium, medium high now. You want a nice sizzling sound to get you started. I'm going to do up a couple cloves of this garlic and give it a quick chop and get it in the pot. I'll pick up all my mess after. So I don't have to keep you here for that. I'm mincing this. This is fresh garlic. You can use the jar garlic. You can make your own from your garden and store it in olive oil in your fridge to you ready to use it. I'm using fresh today. I'm going to just take that one clove and get that right in the pot. got my back burner going on too because I've got a pan of water that I want to get it on there for the pasta. So I'm going to put that on there in a few minutes. I'm going to go check my shrimp so I don't need my water running. That's what you hear in the background. You want a lot of garlic and you want lots of lemon, that's going to give it a really good flavor. I'm going to let that run for a few more minutes because they're, they're frozen solid. I'm going to get my wooden spoon. You can already smell that garlic. Oh, delicious. I'm going to get my salt and pepper up here. Excuse my arm. I love to put fresh ground pepper on peppers in garlic and butter. It's just... Use lots of pepper because it's an herb and it's good for you. If you look up black pepper, you find out it has a lot of healing properties. So I'm going to turn it down to between medium and medium low. I'm going to add my salt in a few minutes. I'm going to set these shrimp in a pan of cold water and just let them try to defrost that way before I start pulling off the tail. These are huge tiger shrimp. So I'm going to get me another garlic clove chopped in the pot and then I'm going to start doing my lemon. You want the juice from the lemon and you also want to cut that lemon and grate some of that peel into it. What I do is I grate some of the, I cut the, I juice the lemon first, then I grate some of it to go into your juice because you want that nice lemon and garlic flavor. And then I also slice it as it's just between the cooking time and, and the preparation because it looks really nice.
We'll start out with three cloves, and if I need more garlic, I'll do some more chopping and dropping. And if you watch my haul videos, I'll be doing another one, hopefully tomorrow. I'm going to go to Walmart and finish up my transaction. Because there's some coupons getting ready to expire. They expire tomorrow, and I want to use them. So I'm hoping I can do that. There's a lot of freebies at Walmart. Alright, there's three cloves in there. Let me give that a nice stir to incorporate all that. Get on top of the peppers. They can just sizzle away with the garlic and butter. They're going to be infused in that butter. I know it's a lot of butter that I use every once in a while, but if you don't eat a lot of butter and you eat it occasionally, it's not going to be bad for you. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off the ends. I'm going to put them off to the side and then I'm going to cut my lemon in half and I'm going to start squeezing the juice. If I start to see some seeds, I'll stop. But right now I don't see any and I'm just going to squeeze. I actually had my husband, I told him to throw this out because I thought that it was no good because it was starting to get soft. But this is the best time to actually squeeze that juice. get a seed in there? I did. Right there. I caught him. He wanted to jump in the pot. I don't think that, no, that's garlic. Alright, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to do the same to this. These basically don't have very many seeds. Actually, that was garlic. That's garlic. That wasn't even a seed. These are seedless. Awesome! You want the juice from one whole lemon. I'm sorry I didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty good there. I'll give my hands a quick wash and try to start working on these shrimps. They're just starting to defrost now. Some of them are still frozen, so I'm going to let them sit a few more minutes while I start to grate some of that lemon into my pot. And if you have a mandolin, you just take that lemon and you take the, the peel part, which it's hard to do right now because I, I juiced it and I caught it, but there's still some that will go in there. You don't want to get down to the white. You just want the yellow. In, in making the shrimp scampi. I love yellow, orange, and red peppers. Both, all three of them give it wonderful flavor. 
So let me get my water on and put my salt in my pot. I would have set it back here, but I didn't want to burn my laptop. And that's what I use to videotape. Okay, this is Mediterranean sea salt that I'm adding to the pot. About, I would say about a tablespoon because you want to bring the your pasta, the flavor out of the pasta. So we're good right now for that. I'm going to start to try to peel these. I'm going to leave my lemon and get to this. And what I'll do is I'll get myself a dish. Or actually, I'll just leave them right in this pot until I'm ready to do it. You want to take off the shell. But you want to leave the teal intact. So when you pick them up when you're eating, which I go, I'll show you how far down I go. Then I tear. Actually, no, I'm just going to take the whole thing. All right, you wanted to do it, so. And that was fully intact. If you if you take a look at that nice shrimp, and it's already deveined, so it's perfect. This is one of my husband's favorite meals, and, and the same with me. I think we're going to have our dinner early today and just do sandwiches tonight. And if I find the stuff that I need for the recipe, which I was hoping to do tuna melts. So I'm going to get rid of these shells here. I should have a garbage bowl right on the the counter so I don't have to walk back and forth, but that's all right. I don't want to add the shrimp until I'm ready to add them all. Put them off, off to the side here. frozen but the, it looks like the shell wants to come off but they're going to cook right in the pot. My hands are freezing. My water's just starting to steam. I think I'm going to move that to the sink and run some more water over it. Let's warm up my hands a little bit. So I'll be right back with you. I didn't want to shut you off and bring you back because I'm trying to get this done so I can go back to work. Get me a bowl here. Oh. Sorry, I need 
some of these to the bowl so I know which ones I've done. I ran into that a couple of minutes now. So I'm going to take the ones out that are done, that are ready to go into the pot. So it would just be faster for me. Are you snoring? It sounded like you did. Some of these are being touchy. They don't want their shell taken off. But I'm trying to hurry so I can get back to you so I can get things right in the pot and finish this up. I didn't realize there was this many shrimp in that bag. minutes I'll crank that back up when I'm ready to add the shrimp. I got a couple more to do. Just bear with me. And there's several ways you can make this recipe. Um, back a, a while ago, um, I lost my niece Dan, but um, she used to make it with cream. Some people make it as a cream base and some people do not. Two more to add to the pot. I'm getting pretty close. I think I'm almost done. I just want to check just to make sure there's one in there. Okay, there's just one. Just want to make sure it shells. And thank you for staying and coming along with me for this. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You give me a thumbs up and you like this video and you share the video. Let me give my hands a quick wash. I'm going to let that colander drain the shells so I can dump them. All right, I'm going to add them right to my pot. I don't want no water, so I'm just going to stir them out. And I'm going to crank my heat back up. colander so I'll have it ready for the pasta. Stir them around in the butter, in peppers, and garlic, and lemon. I'm going to get my pasta in the pot, and then I'm going to chop up this onion. All right, let's see what we got here for pasta. We have a thin spaghetti. We could use. We have a spinach pasta. We have a whole wheat pasta. Lo mein, which I don't want lo mein, so I'm just looking to see if I have any more up there. I'm going to get my step stew. See what other ones 
I have. I guess basically I have just noodles. And I don't want it on noodles, so I'll probably go with the whole wheat pasta because that's what we have. So, I'm going to put the lemon back. We're going to put the spinach back. And we're going to put this little tiny bit of pasta back. We're going to go with the whole wheat. I'm going to add a little bit of Greek olive oil to my pot. I'm going to give this a quick stir. See, some of them are starting to cook. They're starting to turn a light pink. And I'll take, do a taste test of the juice because you want that juice in your pasta. About a tablespoon of oil to your pot so your pasta doesn't stick. get my spaghetti fork out. As they start to cook, they'll go right down into the pot. One more handful. Give this a stir. I'm going to re-season as well, and I'm also going to make sure I have enough garlic. See, so look at that. That little guy has already started to cook. Well, only on one side you can see the raw pie right there. out in case we need more. I don't think we will, but and I'm going to take my lemon and I'm going to cut into strips. And you're just doing this for flavor. You can pull this out prior to eating, you know, if it's in your dish. But that lemon and the juice from it gives awesome flavor. It adds more flavor to your recipe when you add the slices. pieces of garlic I'm trying to push down in there. And I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to take do a taste test of the juice. Get that right down in that. See this little guy is almost cooked. But the other ones aren't. See that? You can tell by the shrimp how firm it is when you touch it. That's just so you know. But they're cooking. They're cooking fine. Some are cooking better than others when they're all cooked. Now give that pasta a quick stir. It is whole wheat, so you are getting some health benefits. You got your veggies. You got your protein, you got the lemon, you got the garlic, which is good for your heart, you got the black pepper, which is an herb. The only thing is the butter, and you just got to make sure that you watch your butter intake. And if you're going to use anything, use real butter, other than margarines, margarines and stuff like that, because real butter is better for you if you're going to eat the crop. I'm going to push all that right onto my board. Again, I got me a clean 
towel. I'm going to get rid of this towel. I'm going to put some fresh ground pepper over that and a little bit of salt. Not very much. The shrimp has got some if you want some flavoring. Maybe once around. You can re-season to your taste, but I would say once around. I'm going to crank my heat down to medium. And give my pasta a quick stir, which it's looking really good. I'm trying to go with the whole wheat products because I want to lose the weight. But sometimes I eat the white, which I'm right now trying to reduce the stuff that we have in our house, what we have in our cupboards and stuff. I don't want no more prepackaged stuff. So once that's all gone, there won't be no me buying it. I did the other day, though, bought the Mexican rice because I wanted to try it. So if anything, it would be something really healthy, like refried beans and Mexican rice that are better for you. All right, I'm going to give it a taste test. What you want to do is get right down there where the butter and the garlic is, and you want to bring the broth up and taste it. Now that's perfect. You don't need anything. So I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't have to re-season. I don't have to add anything. You've got all the flavors that you need. And most of these shrimp are cooked. So basically, because they're, if you look at them, they're firm when you squeeze them. There's none that isn't. And if there is, the heat from the burner is going to finish doing my process. I'm going to let you go, and I'll come back when I'm ready to dish it up. Welcome back. I'm just getting ready to serve. So I'm going to aim you right down at the shrimp with the um, lemon butter and the... Um, garlic and the red pepper. I got my pasta. I drained it. I did not add no water to it and I'm going to add it right to the pot. And I just turned my heat on just just to I incorporate everything into the pasta. All that juice from the lemon, the garlic, all the red pepper and like I said you can pull them lemon slices out that was just to add extra flavor to your pasta while they're cooking when you're getting ready to dish it out you don't have to keep that on there you can pull that off you want to make sure all that juice gets right into that pasta you want to keep mixing I'm going to shut my heat back off because it's just starting to come up now. And there you go. I'm going to put it in a plate. I'm going to pull some of the pasta first. I'm going to take some shrimps, some peppers, and some lemon. Just like that. And when you're getting ready to eat it, you want to add a little bit of your pepper right on top. Just like that. And there you go. Shrimp scampi. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and give me a thumbs up.